White bass are native to the Midwest and Great Lakes regions, although their populations have expanded into many rivers and reservoirs in the southern U.S. They spawn during the day in the spring with water temps between the mid-50s and mid-60s Fahrenheit. Pre-spawn white bass tend to move up tributary creeks and rivers, although they will spawn along windswept shorelines if flowing water isn't available. Once post-spawn white bass disperse back to the lake, they school heavily and tend to feed near the surface. Small white bass chiefly eat plankton and insects, while larger fish typically roam open water and feed on shiners and bait fish like shad, pushing or trapping them against the surface. They also pursue and pin bait fish against shallow rock piles or shorelines. Big boy, there I got them. Look at the size of them. Look at that big one. Look at them, on my bait. You got a big one there too, boy. Oh, there's a whole school of them, Al. Yeah, they're big. These are big whiteies. Wow. With white bass, it's important to remember that these fish are forage-driven predators. They don't care if the bait fish is suspended near the surface or near structure. They're eating machines that simply follow the bait. It's pretty simple. Find the forage and you'll find the fish. Oh, cool. Ooh, oh, did that hit the oh, boat? That, that was, was cool. sweet. That was that awesome. Was cool. I, you just chased it in and I dropped it and dunk. Yeah, I saw that. Super that was visual. really neat. Oh, boom. Well, it was exciting and I didn't have to take them off. A quick release. Was quick that on release. purpose? That was, yeah, it was purposeful, <laughs> yep, it was purposeful, so. Gosh, they're so aggressive. I mean, these fish, when they get fired up, it's just like, a lot of times there are schools, it's mine, 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 or you just get one tracking it on it, and they, they go nuts. I mean, the thing with this bait is really casting it out and reeling it in, but any hesitations or pauses, you know, saw the fish, just kill the bait, let it start to fall, and dunk. Great trigger, that was really cool. I'm reeling in as fast as I can oh. to cast right over your line. Yeah, yeah, Boom. there's, uh-oh, oh, uh-oh. Ooh. Hearing a little bit of that drag screaming. What do we got here? How big? What kind of fish Ooh, do you have? There we go. Big oh, he's got whitey. a buddy with him. Does he? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. He's got one swimming right with him. Try to double up, so it's a nice thing. You get, you can, you get two people, you get double ups, three, you can kind of triple up on these. Come on. Yeah, come on. Denied. really good one. I also like when you get them, they, they kind of, they fight a little bit and you get them next to the boat like this and like this. They just kind of, they just kind of chill like that. You get them up here, they're easy to lift. They just kind of relax like this. Easy, nice little lift, a little hook. Pop that out. There we go. Well, this one's got a little- Chubby. He's been eating right. These things don't stop. It doesn't, you know, they, <laughs> they're either swimming or eating or a combination of both. That's their two modes. They don't have an off switch. There we go. I finally got that one that was chasing you, Troy. It took, yeah. it took an extra <laughs> cast, but sweet. They are just ferocious. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna spot lock us here. You get in a spot where there's, there's one, there's usually more. It's worth making some repetitive casts in the area for sure. Look at that, I mean, aren't they? They just cool fish, those gold eyes. One of the true bass, the white bass. And I know that I'm not alone when I say I love catching these things and I love their attitude. So we reached out to some of the folks on our social media sites to say, hey, what do you love about white bass? Check out what we got. Mike Fighton said, I love the fact that there are so many artificial baits they'll hit. I love throwing three and four inch swim baits on a jig head. One of the hardest fighting fish there is, they're like crappies on steroids. Rick Fike wrote, I love taking folks with me that are new to fishing for white bass during the spring run. Non-stop action. They'll be fishermen for life. Grandkids and I caught 154 in four hours this past spring. Song Kao Kong replied, To me, catching white bass feels like fishing for oversized sunfish for adults. I feel like a kid all over again every time I'm out fishing for them. Chris Allen said, they hit hard, fight hard, taste great, and they're great to take the kids out to catch in the upper Midwest where I live, and they're considered a nuisance for many walleye anglers, which means more fish for me and my friends. Lots of appreciation for white bass in my house. Aaron Buck wrote, I love when big schools drive shad to the surface and you can throw a light jig or a small daredevil and they'll smash it hard and fight hard. James Doughty Jr. replied, the best fish to get young anglers hooked. Ross Hansen said, if you were right-handed and all you had was your left-handed lures, you could still catch white bass. 
And Brian Sherwood wrote, oh yeah, good fighters and tasty. I could go on and on, but I think you get the picture. And what do I love about white bass? Well, they bite so many different lures, crankbaits, rattlebaits, poppers, spinners, spoons, and what we're doing today, swim baiting. 